On October 4th, I've made a video about the discovery of 59 sarcophagi in Egypt. But the archaeologists didn't stop there. They've continued their excavations. For the past three weeks, the Egyptian Secretary General of the Supreme Council of Antiquities, Mostafa Waziri, has been teasing us. A couple days ago, he broke the news that earlier today, on November the 14th, they would have another exhibit at the famed Step Pyramid of Djoser. To announce the discovery of yet another 100 sarcophagi that have been excavated in the past month in the same area as the sarcophagi that I spoke about on October 4th. These 100 new found sarcophagi were found on October 19, 2020 in three new burial shafts in the same area of a depth of 12 meters. The Egyptian Minister of Tourism and Antiquities, Khaled El Enani, said, Saqqara has yet to reveal all of its contents. It is a treasure. Excavations are still underway. Whenever we empty a burial shaft of sarcophagi, we find an entrance to another. The sealed sarcophagi belonged to top officials from the late period between 664 and 332 BCE. And some sarcophagi date from the Ptolemaic dynasty that ruled Egypt for approximately 300 years between 320 BCE and 30 BCE. The makeshift exhibit displayed the 100 sarcophagi and 40 gilded statues of the god Ptah Saqqara and funerary masks. Some of the sarcophagi have mummies inside and are still very colorful, two and a half thousand years after they've been buried. Another two wooden statues have been found in a tomb belonging to an ancient judge from the 6th dynasty, according to Mustafa Waziri. It wasn't clear if the statues depicted any gods or family members, but one statue is believed to depict an individual by the name Hetep Ka, who was venerated by the king, Mr. Waziri said. The beauty of the statue is seen in the intricacy of its eyebrows, mustache and eyelashes. The archaeologists opened one of the sarcophagi to show a well-preserved mummy wrapped in a burial shroud inside, adorned with brightly colored hieroglyphic pictorials. They carried out x-rays which visualized the bone structure of the ancient mummy, showing how the body has been preserved over time. The mission to excavate the area started three months ago. First they found 27 coffins in two separate shafts, and then they found another 32 coffins in another shaft. Adding these 100 sarcophagi to the previously found 59 sarcophagi, the archaeologists have found at least 159 sarcophagi in just three months' time. The artifacts and sarcophagi will be moved to at least three different Cairo museums, including the Grand Egyptian Museum that is currently under construction. They also teased us with yet another announcement of more discoveries being made at the Saqqara Necropolis later this year. Which means that the archaeologists are still finding new shafts housing well-gilded, well-painted, well-decorated sarcophagi and statues. The archaeologists are hoping to find an ancient workshop where the wooden coffins were manufactured. Mr. Waziri explained that ancient Egyptians used to buy their coffins at such a workshop. He said, we expect it to be somewhere close to the burial shafts. Whenever new announcements are being made, you can be certain I will report on it as soon as I can to share the amazing news with you. I'm still impressed that COVID-19 didn't stop the archaeologists from making new discoveries in Saqqara. Since they held the news conference at the Step Pyramid of Djoser, you might be interested in learning more about the oldest pyramid in Egypt and the funerary complex surrounding it. I'll put that video in the end card and in the description down below. If you enjoyed watching, then don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you'd like to see more of these kind of videos, and click the bell icon for notifications every time I upload. If you haven't seen my previous videos yet, then click the card in the upper right corner or click the link in the description down below. I also want to thank my Patreons, Richard, Barry and NGC6543. And for now, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.